What's up guys? Haven't had a video in a little while. Just trying to relax and, you know, enjoy the time down. Um, so I have been to, I'm back here in Playa del Carmen and I went through a couple of cigar shops here. I went to the La Casa del Habano shop in Cancun, but of course there they don't allow me to video, which I still don't understand why. Uh, I did a video recently on Casa Partagas here in Playa del Carmen um, and the owner, very sweet lady, she, uh, she really enjoys it and thank you to all the viewers who come down to Cancun or Playa del Carmen <clears throat> and have stopped by Fifth Avenue to look in and support Casa Partagas. They're one of the oldest, they actually are the oldest cigar shop in this area for the past 25 to 30 years. And, um, you know, it's greatly appreciated when you uh, mention that you found them on the YouTube channel and uh, the owner gets a, she gets a nice kick out of it. So thank you guys who've come down to the Mayan Riviera. Um, you know, the prices obviously are still going up uh, due to some other weather and climate issues within, that are hitting uh, Cuba and specifically Pinar del Rio. Um, there is going to be, I foresee, another tobacco shortage um, probably going to hit in the beginning, probably the middle of uh, next year. So, yes, while the taking this all into consideration, I was thinking that, well, okay, let's maybe go out and start hunting for some cigars right now to buy. And I put together just this video, uh, just on some of the cigars that I've purchased and sort of the rationale behind why did I choose these cigars and also uh, based on the price points of these cigars. So let's take a look at some of the cigars and the prices and sort of the rationale of why we chose these cigars and uh, maybe hopefully it'll uh, help you with your buying and you know, try to go and not be too discouraged about the price increases in Cuban cigars because there's still a lot of great value sticks out there, guys. So let's check this out. So guys, here is an example of a different assortment of cigars. And let, let's sort of go over the prices of these cigars because I think it's important to realize that Yes, everything, you know, for all the Habanos and all Cuban cigar brands have all gone up. And those of you who have been smoking Habanos for, you know, three plus years, if not longer, uh, you have seen the progression of the price increases. And a lot of times the price increases can be due to, you know, delays in production or production so uh, shortages as well as, you know, of the obvious reason in the past two years with the 49% so, uh, sale of the SA Habanos retail arm to a holding company in Taiwan, which then uh, that holding company consolidated the prices according to the LCDH Hong Kong shop, which is why you see now the all the uh, prices uh, have increased across all of the brands. But what I wanted to do was just cover that, you know, you can still find good cigars um, when you understand the price for the cigar, the, the brand in particular, and also the flavor profile of some of the, maybe some of the lesser brands or the other brands that you normally have not smoked in the past. So what I wanted to do was just really go over a... a you know a tutorial of the different prices of Habanos now this is according only to markets and prices that are available now um, you know and the, of course the prices vary market to market in different countries uh, every country has their own tax and tariffs on uh, tobacco imports so I'm just going to go over some of the prices that I purchased these brands for and I will explain the different uh, shops or countries that I purchased them in. So first off what we have is a uh, Ronaldo Gonzalez custom roll. Uh, these are custom blends that are rolled by cigar rollers and in this case it's Reynal uh, Reynaldo Jimenez Gonzalez who happens to be 
uh, working here now at the La Casa del Habano um, shop in Cancun in the hotel zone. Many of you may remember Reynaldo Gonzalez as the manager of the, the uh, La Casa del Habano shop at the Via Conde Nueva Hotel in Old Havana. But uh, this stick right here uh, runs for about $14 to $15. Okay. Here is a Diplomatico uh, number two that I purchased at the LCDH uh, shop in Cancun. And, uh, you know, for those of you who have never tried Diplomaticos, they're very wonderful smoke. Uh, and I think that they're um, probably a little bit underrated. <clears throat> I have a couple of uh, regional uh, from uh, the um, UAE uh, that are um, regional smokes that are extremely, extremely uh, flavorful. So this Diplomatico number two ran about... Oh, I'd say, I think it was uh, it was in pesos, so I want to get a you know a relative amount for about twenty two dollars for this Diplomatico uh, number two. It you know, sh shaped like a Monty number two. Very nice smoke. Here we have a Romeo Julieta uh, Exception number four from two thousand seven. Uh, I purchased this stick for about $29 to $30, and some of you may be thinking, well, why did that cost so much? Um, this is from 2007, guys. So this is an aged stick with 16 years of age on it. Again, about $30. It's a little bit larger than a Petite Corona. Again, this is the Romeo Julieta Exception number four, excuse me, number three. Uh, from 2007. Anyway, you can see the 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 ring gauge definitely is a lot you know um, skinnier than um, the Diplomaticos and the uh, Custom uh, Ronaldo. These are Custom D4s. Um, so anyway, 14 to 15 dollars, 22 dollars, 30 to 31 dollars. Now we'll bring you to the H Upman. Uh, this is a H. Upman Robusto. This was a Limitado that was released in 2012. <clears throat> I bought these for about between $45 and $50. The reason I say it's, I'm trying to give an approximation is because the dollar to peso fell um, here. I bought this at a cigar shop that I have uh, verified. You can see from the other videos, the previous videos, it was Casa Partagas. And... <clears throat> I, I had basically uh, found a bo couple boxes of these that were essentially 11 years old and I felt that the price uh, warranted um, the age as well as the fact it was a Limitado. But again, it was about between $45 and $50. Um, now, for regular production sticks, right, everyone knows Cohiba, Siglo 6, or the Siglo 6. Everyone knows the stick. The retail price right now is going for a whopping 105, uh, about 100 to 110 dollars in some markets. Again, there's no age on this, or maybe it was produced, I think, in 2022, 2021. Uh, but regular production, no, nothing exceptional about it with regard to being a limitado. Again, 100 to 110 dollars for a Siglo Six. Yes, I know the price is absurd. I remember when I used to buy these sticks for $30 a stick. So yes, guys, um, I understand your frustration. Here is another stick, which is a regional. This is the Ramon Ionis private stock, the um, regional for the UK market. This is the Grand Britannia, and this was released for um, Queen Elizabeth's uh, birthday, her last birthday. Uh, I think it was a year ago or maybe two years ago. Anyway, um, this stick uh, I purchased at the Davidoff Lounge uh, in uh, London on St. James um, from Edward Sah uh, Eddie Sahakian. This stick cost about $115. Uh, again, extremely um, expensive and pricey for a cigar. 
but I wanted to show a price comparison between two cigars that are like in the you know hundred dollars plus and, and change. Um, you're getting a regular production Cohiba Siglo Six or Ramon Ionis Regional. Uh, the reason why this particular regional, I mean, this one's expensive is because, well, simply put, London has some of the, the UK has some of the highest tobacco taxes in the world. Um, so, you know, again, to recap the prices, custom rolls, these custom rolls can vary between $10 to $25, depending on the size and the Vitola ring gauge. Great flavors. You have this Diplomatico number no. two, which was about twenty-two dollars, and that's at a La Casa del Habano, one of the most expensive La Casa del Habanos in Cancun. Romeo Julieta, uh, Petit Corona size, maybe a little bit bigger than a Petit Corona, uh, but with sixteen years of age at thirty, uh, about thirty to thirty-five dollars, let's say. We have an H. Upman Robusto Limitado from 2012, uh, limited edition, which was about 50, uh, you know, 50 plus or minus a few dollars. So let's say 50 to 55 dollars for a Limitado with 11 years of age. You got Cohiba Siglo 6 regular production um, that's going to be going for about 110 dollars a stick. And if you can find a regional Ramon Ionis private stock exclusive for the UK market, this is a country regional, so it's only available in that country. And this was also about $110, $115. Um, so again, you know, you have to gauge what it is you want to spend your money on. There is a wide assortment of cigars that you can choose from. All we have to do is just really reevaluate, reassess our strategies. I like to smoke Seaglow 6s, don't get me wrong. I love Seaglow 6 and I love Esplendidos, but I'm not going to pay $100 a stick for a regular production cigar, no matter how big or how great it is. In the other cases, there's alternatives. I like to look for everyday sticks that are you know within my budget and custom seem to fit that bill I also look for some bargains with regard to some other lower tier and off brands like Diplomatico or um, you know some Ramon Ionis especially selected Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number no. two or um, Especials there's other Vitolas of Hoyo de Monterey um, some people are now looking at the Vegueros, uh, which has been always been a third tier, third shelf brand, uh, getting some good value, good smoke. Uh, there's also Cuaba. Uh, th there's, there's a number of sticks out there, guys, that you can find that are still within the budget. Uh, I realize that a lot of you like to smoke, as I do, Monte Cristo number no. twos, Partagas number no. four, a D fours, Partagas E twos. These cigars are great, but I don't know personally for myself if the price justifies it anymore. So let's readjust our strategies. Let's still enjoy the flavor and the, and the taste and the smoke of a good Habano, hopefully with some age. And let's take a look and see what's out there uh, because it, you know, it's not all loss and it's not hopeless guys you still can find some great smokes and so therefore just reevaluate your strategies look at your price points and then when you determine those price points look at all the different factors that you have to choose from it, it's not that difficult um, but don't let discourage don't be discouraged or give up hope just because we've seen a rise in the prices of Habanos there are a lot of alternatives that are still viable. And like I said, custom rolls for me is the way to go. Until then, enjoy your smokes. Remember, smoke them if you got them.